The emulation community is in shock. RPCS3, the popular PlayStation 3 emulator, is officially coming to Android. This means Android users will finally be able to experience PS3 gaming on mobile, bringing console-quality gameplay to handheld devices. Now this raises an even bigger question. Could a PS4 emulator be next? Let's introduce PS4 emulator for Android, Shandroid PS4. A new and ambitious emulator project is making waves, Shandroid PS4. This emulator aims to bring PlayStation 4 gaming to Android, something once thought impossible. The developer behind this project is adapting Shad PS4, a well-known PS4 emulator for PC, to work on mobile devices. Even more astonishing, the team has set a 14-day deadline to create a working prototype, and only seven days remain. If successful, this could change mobile gaming forever. What needs to be done? To make this project a reality, the developers must tackle several critical challenges. ARM64 to AMD64, JIT compiler, essential for translating PS4 instructions into a format mobile hardware can process. Library optimization, system calls and libraries must be optimized for smooth performance on Android devices. Touchscreen UI, a user-friendly interface is needed so games can be played without a controller. If these challenges are overcome, Shandroid PS4 could mark a massive breakthrough in mobile emulation technology. Big question, can it really work? While the idea is exciting, the biggest question remains. Is PS4 emulation on Android even possible? PS4 games are highly demanding, and even powerful gaming PCs struggle to run them smoothly. Running these games on smartphones presents major hurdles, including storage space. Many PS4 games exceed 50 gigabytes to 100 gigabytes, making storage a serious concern. Hardware limitations. Mobile processors and RAM are significantly weaker than those in gaming PCs, making emulation extremely difficult. Compatibility. Even if the emulator works, the real challenge is determining which games are playable and at what performance level. Despite these issues, some believe cloud-based solutions and extreme optimizations could make PS4 emulation on Android a reality. Why this project is so exciting, even if only a few PS4 games become playable, this project could set the stage for future advancements in mobile gaming. The ability to run console-quality games on a smartphone would be a game-changer, making high-end titles more accessible. What makes this even more thrilling is the speed of development. The team is working at an unbelievable pace. If they make even a small breakthrough, it could pave the way for even more advanced console emulation on mobile. We can expect the Shandroid PS4 system requirements. Since the emulator is still in early development, these are the likely requirements. At this stage, Shandroid PS4 is still in development, and many questions remain unanswered. But the fact that a PS4 emulator for Android is in the works is a huge step forward for gaming technology. If successful, it could revolutionize emulation and bring us closer to next-gen gaming on mobile devices. Don't forget to subscribe for more mind-blowing updates on emulation, gaming, and tech news. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.